Clontarf Bowling Club. My name is Catherine Haslett and I'm a member here in the club. 
This afternoon, we're, we have a very important charity event. We're running a fundraising competition in aid of Pieta House, that very established charity that is doing such important work for people at this difficult time. And indeed, they're in need of funds, and we hope you enjoy the competition and contribute generously to Pieta House. Our competition involves a guest bowler, Mr. Neil Booth. Neil is, has a long established career playing bowling at the highest level throughout Ireland and indeed internationally. Currently, he is the manager of the Ireland's international lawn bowls team. Neil will play here this afternoon in quite a short competition, three ends, but we're going to expect to see some very skillful bowling. His opponent will be Peter Laird. Peter Laird is the captain of Clontarf Bowling Club. He is also a very experienced bowler. He has for many years played with senior team for Clontarf in the men's uh, Division II Bowling League of Ireland. The marker for the match is Yvonne Kyo. Yvonne is secretary to the club. She has played on the ladies team in Division Three of the Ladies Bowling League of Ireland. They have had a particularly successful year in 2019 and having come top of the league and they're looking forward to great things now in 2021 when they hope to play in Division Two. While they're setting up here for Neil and Peter, I'm going to uh, introduce you to Mr. Billy Bradshaw. Billy Bradshaw is one of our most esteemed members of the club. He has a long history in the club and in the club competitions. And we're going to talk about some of the highlights that he has seen over the years. Billy, can I start by asking you about the Clontarf Pairs, which is a particularly prestigious competition? First of all, Catherine, I'd like to start off by congratulating you on your uh, high office as Vice President of the Ladies uh, Bowling League of Ireland. So uh, I hope you have a very successful and happy two years. Thank you very um, much, Billy. And I'm looking forward to the, to the support of all the club with the, in that role. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you will have it. So um, our Clontarf pairs, which hopefully will be back on schedule next year. Well, hopefully it will, with the help of God. Um, the Clontarf pairs, as uh, most people know, uh, was always uh, a men's pairs, okay. and um, but uh, next year uh, we're going to have it as uh, a mixed pairs. Mm -hmm. So it'll be uh, mixed pairs can be either two ladies, a man, a lady, two men, or whatever. Okay. And um, unfortunately, uh, we can only facilitate uh, forty pairs in this competition. Um, but uh, it's always been a success, and um, hopefully it will be continued that way. Okay, so it should um, going on to new and better things, and even more competition next year. Hopefully, the ladies well, will be in there giving, hopefully, play, yeah. playing a good, strong role. Oh, they, they might are. very well win. Uh, yes, on I mean, their performance so far. Uh, the performance of the ladies uh, in the Clonturf. Uh, certainly uh, terrific on their, their big win last year Yes. and um, they're, they're coming okay. on very well and long may that last. Long may it last. And um, Billy, in recent years the Clontarf Pairs, uh, you know, it's the highlight of our year, it's, it's a whole week and, and we've had clubs from all over Dublin. Are there any particular competitions that really stand out for you? Who, you know, who would you say are the better clubs? Well, uh, I, I wouldn't like to uh, pick out uh, any any club as being uh, the best one. Like uh, all the clubs have their uh, selection of top players. Okay. Um, Who would we want to watch out for? <laughs> well, uh, I suppose um, Steve Milan would be uh, a person that we we have to look out for, okay. or indeed uh, watch, because. Uh, Stephen uh, did play, he, he was in uh, James's Gate okay. Bowling Club, but that's the Guinness Club. Yes. So um, he's since uh, left that and he has joined up with Crumlin. Okay. Um, he is an international bowler and in fact uh, he's an international skip. Right. Uh, he has won the competition 
um, for the last three years. Okay. Uh, once with uh, Nicholas Smith and twice with uh, Robbie Marr. Uh, they, they won it twice. So, so they're, they're, he'll be well marked next year. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely yeah. Some good bowling. Yeah. yeah and yeah. this afternoon, um, we'll have. We, we're going to see some really good skills now at an international level this afternoon. Oh, Is yes. that something you've seen often in Clontarf? Uh, well, uh, we we don't see those internationals so often, but mm -hmm. during uh, the year of the. Um, the centenary in the golf club. Yes. Uh, I was I was asked. I I, I was asked if I would organise uh, an international match. Okay. Um, and who came to that? Um. I got in touch with the uh, Irish Bowling Association, and uh, between themselves themselves and myself, uh, we organised that and uh, I was also given the task of selecting um, a selection of bowlers, top bowlers from each club here well, in that Dublin. that must have been very difficult. Uh, well, it, it, it was um, because we could only facilitate so many okay. and to try and be fair to each club. I think at that stage we could only take two from each club, okay. and um, but all the clubs got their share in playing that, and uh, that was a smashing day. It was one to be remembered. Was and, it? Uh, the uh, the I IBA uh, up north appreciated it. We had all the VIPs down from there, and okay. they were entertained okay. and. Um, I have to say uh, thank you to the golf club for uh, giving Clontarf That's Bowling Club the opportunity of yeah. having that. There's a very good relationship between Clontarf Bowling Club and some of the clubs in the north. Uh, there? Yes, um, there is. We Years ago we used to have a friendly match. Uh, we'd go up one year to Bangor Bowling Club, which was picky. Yes. And we'd go up there one day, and they, or one year, and then they would come down here the next year. But th through the years, um, uh, for the during the troubles, that's, uh, that yeah. finished up. Yeah. Um, but we have got um, a match every second year with Cave Hill. Okay. They come down here, and we go up and there. And alternate. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, then we have uh, another friendly with Malone. Uh, golf and bowling club. Right, and, and uh, to go up to that club, uh, you'd think you were in the lakes of Killarney. It's just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So, is, is a bowling team from Clontarf go up, and uh, along with a team from golfers. Okay. And, and it's uh, a good day. It's a, it's a great day. Well, we have a beautiful club here too for visitors. Oh, we? it's absolutely I mean, fantastic. It's... Like, where would you get it? Uh, the beautiful green, beautiful surroundings, and uh, for golfers who might be watching uh, this, like uh, the the golf course is, uh, it's a very prestigious club. It is. So yes. is the bowling club. And, and uh, the bowling club is it's it's right in the shadow of that wonderful 18th century house, Tommy yeah. Carney yeah. House. Yeah, well, when I came here, um, there weren't all these uh, extra buildings. There's just the house, the house and nothing else. Yeah. And I'll tell you, uh, Catherine, it was absolutely lovely. I'm it sure was it great. Was, and yeah. uh, the all, all the old timers um, that, that were in the club when uh, my brother and myself joined, my brother Jim, um, yeah. he's since gone to another club. Um, but at, the, at that time, they were lovely people and they had stories to tell us yes. because most of them uh, were combatants and colonels okay. uh, from, from a different time from a different time a different yeah time. but it's still a wonderful wonderful club and um, you know we have great diversity now and it's very much based on the north side of Dublin and there's a strong loyalty 
to the club, and, and, and I think it's wonderful to see that. We had some very famous people um, in Johnny Carney House. Tom, of Tom's, uh, Tom, uh, the uh, printer Tom, the Scottish printer, uh, the Tom's Alex, directory. Alex Tom. Alex Tom. That's, Tom. Right. That's, That's right, right, yeah. And, yeah, uh, he, was, he was gone now when I came. Oh, well, he was gone, <laughs> but he was. Yeah, yeah. You heard your grandfather speaking about <laughs> yeah, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very yeah, good. Yeah. And, and prior to that was um, the, the house, the owner, the first owner of the house, uh, he, Carol. Carol was his name, and I think he, he ran Johnny Carney quarries. And they were used for the cobblestones of Dublin. Well, so there you are, I, I saw that piece of information about it. So, you know, what you see here on the green and the wonderful old walls, it's oh, yes. very much a part of Dublin and very much a part of the north side of Dublin. Oh, yes. And a yes. great social life, Billy. Yes. Absolutely terrific, yeah. And, like, uh, I'm sure all, all the, these grounds, I'd say, uh, there are quite a lot of wells right. un underneath. Because there was one occasion, not so many years ago, the tractor was coming down the 18th fairway and approaching the 18th green, and the back wheel went down to into <laughs> an old well. Okay. That had Very been good. covered over with sleepers, and um, yeah. you know, yeah. I'm sure those wells are dotted all well, over. Yeah, well, we have a few more. Not so much this summer, but we've had periods of drought, <laughs> so we'd be pretty yeah. self-sufficient. Yeah. So that yeah. look at that wonderful green. And yeah. now I think we're ready and we're going to hand over to Tommy Cook. Tommy is the president of Clontarf Golf and Bowling Club and he's going to do the formal introductions to Neil. So enjoy your afternoon. We're looking forward to a great game, very skillful here, here. bowls. Here, here. And don't forget, it's all in aid of Fieta House. Forget, although looking at bowling, the main issue here today, don't be please for PA to house. Thank you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, to start off, Peter has rolled uh, three quarter length jack. So, in an ordinary event, they would have trial ends, uh, but in this case, they're just going straight in, which is a difficult thing to do because they have to get an idea of the grass and obviously of the speed of the green. So the first end might be a little bit on the loose side, but let's wait and see. Good pace coming down from Peter. First ball is very, very good. That's excellent. Well, you couldn't do much better than that. Wow. What a start. What a start. I think Peter may be out practicing earlier on this morning <laughs> with that much of a start. Brilliant. Now we have Neil under a little bit of pressure straight away. But I'm in no doubt he's going to get a close one to start off with. His pace is pretty good. He just finished maybe a yard or so past the jack. 
but he'll get his pace back pretty quickly. And for Peter's second ball, let's see, can he repeat it? Line looks pretty good again. Maybe a little bit tighter this time. Yes, that's going to finish a little bit. Well, that worked out very well. Very well. Neil again. Looks as if he has a good line. Maybe just a little bit short this time. Yes. Yeah. Just struggling a little bit to get the pace, which can be expected. Here's the third ball again. His line looks extremely good. Pace again looks excellent. So he's the third ball now going into the head. Now oh, excellent bowling from here. Well done. He should be on television more often, the way he's bowling. Neil now, maybe just a little bit tight. Yes. Beers having an excellent start. Line good again. Finishing maybe a little bit short this time. Yeah. So three out of four is not bad at all. Yeah, Neil looks very close to this one. You know, he'll be making contact now, maybe get second shot. Oh, yes, it did. Could very well be second. We'll have to wait and see. We have uh, Yvonne Kill marking the match. And he's going to say he has a one or two. Don't forget, we are watching bowls. Let me remind you once again to please donate. That's what this event is all about. It's all about PA the House. We've got a fantastic day here today at Clontarf. It couldn't have worked out better. So we'll have Peter now after winning the first end. We'll roll to Jack again and start off the second end. And again, I reckon he'll go three quarter to the long end. He seems to have got that pace very well. Yes. This is a fantastic event. Our first time and Clontarf are really excited to be able to record this for PA the house. Peter's first ball looks on track again. Maybe just a shade heavy. Yes, yeah, just slice the jack of it. <coughs> I'd say Neil will be getting the pace of the green now, so expect Neil to get that little bit closer. Yeah, just a little bit on the heavy side. Peter now looks as if he's taken the forehand shot this time, not continuing with his backhand. Shot again, just a shade heavy, but he's lying shot at the moment. Neil's line this time looks that much, much better, but again I think he's struggling with weight. Yes, about a yard or so short. I think Peter's going now on his backhand, which probably will be the right one to do, where if he does trail the jacket, he'll be trailing towards his own ball. Again, I think he looks a little bit on the tight side. Yes, yes, he needs that little bit more grass, but he's still lying two shots, nonetheless. Better way the shot coming in now from Neil. Matter of fact, this could be the shot going in. Yes, indeed, yes. Didn't take too long now for Neil to get the pace of the green, as I said. 
Peter needs to take a much wider line now with this ball in order to try and rest Neil's ball out, ball out and take the shot. He's looking pretty good so far. Uh, he's looking extremely good. Oh, could be. Not a good ball going in. Just a shade wide. Yeah, weight was very, very good. So that's two of the three ends gone. And uh, we'll just be waiting now to, uh, sorry, Jay. Jay, what do you think of it so far? Well, he's probably at a bit of his disadvantage now. He's played in four other greens this morning here and three of them were carpets. So going from carpet to grass green, is, it's going to take an end or two to get used to. And he just doesn't have the time over the tree. Personally. Thanks, Shay. Shay, of course, is completely correct there that it is hard after playing on four carpet greens to come and play on grass. You really have to adjust your weight. And again, Peter has gone for a three quarter length jack. Seems to be his favourite length. So Peter has now won two out of the three ends. Let's see, can Neil pull it back a little bit now on this end, his final third end? Yeah, line is very good again from Peter. Pace is a little bit on the heavy side. Oh, he has a very good line for it. Let's see, can Neil now adjust? He started to get it very right on this end, in this length the last time. Looks a good ball, looks to have really good weight but it's just finishing that shade short. Maybe two feet but it's the shot nonetheless. Peter needs to adjust his weight now on this one. Carrying a little bit on the last ball. Line is good again, maybe a shade tighter. We'll just see now as he adjusted on the weight. He actually has but again, just that shade running through. Giving Neil a chance now to get in here. See, can he take advantage of it? This one again looks an extremely good shot. Even bettering his first one. Yeah, well done. Very well done. Peter's line again. He's getting extremely good. He needs to slow down now. Yes, oh, he's got it right. Absolutely perfect. Well done. Neil now needs to play with a little bit of weight just to touch Peter's ball and touch it out, making three. So he certainly is coming down. He has the weight. Has he got the ball? He's very close to it. Oh, very, very close indeed. Peter has a good chance now of safeguarding this boy ball just slightly in front of his arm. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Putting in a short ball, hoping to make Peter play with a little bit more weight. Which is exactly Peter's shot. Coming in very closely. Catch the ball, but he's gone just by it again. Well, very enjoyable, very enjoyable hard task for Peter to adjust to the grass. So I hope you enjoyed the event here today. I'm now going to hand you back to Catron um, to say a few words. Thanks everybody and just don't forget, like, you know, the main thing is wash your hands, wear your mask, keep your distance and stay safe. Thank you. Bye bye.